Um, you know, I'm very excited about it. Uh, you know, this is my first time as a as a fighter in general, pro amateur, uh, for me to be able to fight in the upstate area. Um, you know, for my other previous fights, you know, I've had a ton of fan support, a ton of crowd support, you know, make the two hour, three hour trips, um, you know, and, you know, I'm, I was very happy about it, but, you know, to have the opportunity to fight so close to home, um, you know, I know there's going to be a ton of people there and, you know, I'm just really excited and plan on putting on a good performance on Saturday night. Um, you know, I've had a great training camp, you know, working with my dad on the weekends upstate, uh, working down here in New Rochelle with my coaches, uh, Albert Santiago, Willie Soto, and Ryan O'Leary. Um, you know, I've gotten great sparring. Um, we, we switched things up a little bit this training camp. I had actually started a new job um, before the last one, and it was a lot longer hours, and I was coming into the gym um, late at night, and I just felt like my body was run down. I was tired. Um, so. My great coach down here, Albert Santiago, has sacrificed his mornings and we've been coming a lot at 5.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and getting our workout done before I go to work. Um, you know, and my body feels fresh, I feel strong, I feel fast and, you know, I think it will definitely show on Saturday night. Uh, I work for a company called DeBell Entertainment. Uh, it's a boxing promoter. Um, I was actually working full time before for Joe DeGuardia, who is the promoter of this show, um, you know, and I have a great relationship with Joe. Um, you know, it was just a, a, an opportunity I had to work for a different company. I've been with Joe for like three and a half years, so, um, you know, I'm now working for the Bell Entertainment. Um, you know, it's a, some bigger shows and bigger fighters, um, you know, so it's, it's a good experience. You know, my life is all boxing. <laughs> you know, it's either working in the office boxing or here in, in the gym office boxing, you know, it's just, 24/7. You know that's that's what my life is about right now, and you know I have no regrets. You know I love what I do, both you know the professional and business side, and you know also in the, my boxing career. Um, you know it was something that um, you know I had I started boxing when I was a kid. You know my dad tells me I had my first sparring match when I was three years old. Um, you know and I started fighting when I was five, and I stopped when I was nine. Uh, you know my mother was. You know, like most mothers, wasn't too crazy about the, the sport, um, but, you know, I got back into it really in about two years after I graduated college. I was working for Joe DeGuardia, you know, and I, I had always had the itch to get back into the game. You know, I didn't want to, you know, wake up when I was 40 or 50 years old and, you know, have the, you know, what ifs or, you know, if I did this, you know, what could have been different. So, um, and, you know, a, a big part of it played with, um, you know, my father's uh, getting sober, um, you know, which has been well documented, you know, he had a... Uh, battled alcoholism for a long time and you know he always had a joke you know running it when he's got sober I would start fighting again and, and you know he got sober he's been sober for five years now and he kind of called me out on it um, you know so it was that combined with you know just being around the sport um, you know I started training and had a few amateur fights that did well in the Golden Gloves and you know I had a great team down here support and great support up with my father and you know we made the, ju the jump into the pro ranks last April uh, on ESPN on Friday Night Fights and you know, so far we've been uh, been doing all right. So, you know, we're going to do it for as long as we can. And, you know, again, I love what I do. So I'm just excited to, to be able to do this and be, you know, have the opportunities I've had, you know, especially, you know, to fight now upstate, you know, with my home crowd and home support. You know, I'm not the main event, but, you know, a lot of the reporters are saying, you know, I'll definitely have the, the crowd support there. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to it.